Hello and we're back with another episode of Techno Blog. With me is Ibn Wilkins. And we have two special guests here in the building from Lincoln. I'm going to allow them to introduce themselves. We're starting from Beauty Force. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Kenneth George and I'm the admin and creative of Lincoln. Okay. And, and this is Anthony George, also admin and developer of Lincoln. Oh, so we developer. Okay. Yeah. Alright, cool, cool. So we're here to talk about Lincoln. In our last video, we did a review, an unbiased review. We did not know about this review, so which is good, um, of the app Lincoln, but now we're here with the creators, which is kind of good. Yeah. So we're gonna dive into it. So tell us how did Link Up come about? Uh, I'll take I'll go first. <laughs> um Link Up is the brainchild of ours for the past two years mm-hmm. and that has been from the different headaches we have, you know, finding different skilled people to work on different projects we have. Uh, finding food in Kingston, getting a little discount here and there. And not forgetting events because Simmons have a lot of events, but for me, I had difficulty finding out when and where. Okay. You know? So, but that wasn't the initial idea. Initially, it was just um, a directory for skilled people. But as time goes by, over two years, we, we find the idea, we polish it, we talk to different people and get the feedback. And, uh, it was not until the last minute that we really concrete everything and develop a business plan around it. So that is it. Alright, so I'm going to hear something about your partner crime. <laughs> <laughs> the link up, um, we actually brought in the idea of link up uh-huh. beyond just an app. We hope to have mixers with our small businesses. Because LinkUp was really creative with the small business in mind. So, mixers to collaborate, mm-hmm. different ideas, talk about challenges, okay. and come up with solutions to those challenges. Okay. Alright, so in our review, we said we love, we love the design. It's a beautiful design. So, who's responsible for that? Well, I, I will attribute that to my creator, my wife, Kenna. And she she does a lot of uh, you know with by the title creative she decides you know what we'll say, what we'll say, how the app actually functions. I'm just the guy coding it and making it happen. So who came up with Purple? Purple? Yeah. That was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as a listening that was <laughs> Alright, alright. Alright, so the on to the meat. <laughs> yeah. Um, we had discussed, you know, review some of the things we we'll like to see, you know, future updates and some issues that we had with the app that we noticed. Right. Um it's pretty good that you're here. You know that you could clarify uh, if you did you said something incorrect or or to tell us if something is if it works coming to oh. help to address you know, right, right, yeah. um, I, I watched your review as soon as it was um, released so I was already on the ball you know thinking <laughs> you about know, how I could respond to you guys um, one thing though your review was very short because LinkUp is a very huge app huge not necessarily in download size but in the features and problems that it addressed it's a lot of work and it's a lot of content that is out there for the users. One of the things that you mentioned was that you wanted offline access. Mm-hmm. For the very fact that it's a huge app, um, you know, it has a lot of content in it. That will take up too much space on the average person's cell phone. So that's why we opted for a web view portal where the app is essentially a web browser. And if you want to go into a certain category, it reaches out to the server to bring in that file, preventing you from storing that on your phone. It's a lot more efficient to you know, just reach out to the server and get those files. Well, you see, for the heavier files like pictures, you might not want to store it. 
Right. But like for like names and so what you could do is you can tap yeah for, for the small data you can have somewhat of a section in of the data. So you could say, okay, let me store the names, the phone numbers I could keep it local and then maybe display like image not available right. as a result of no internet connectivity. So you could have somewhat of a sex segmentation yeah, of, right. the, of the data. That's, that's yeah, and one thing you said is everything doesn't have to be local, but you know, it's like favorites. Right. Right. It's not right. very favorite. Right. So right. Right. Yes. Yeah. That's what yeah. you know. Okay. We, did we, 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 we said that? that? I think so. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> on, on that topic of favorites, um, mm-hmm. the favorites is there, mm-hmm. but it's something we don't want to promote or make prominent in the app because mm-hmm. LinkUp is about discovering small businesses. Mm-hmm. Because I mean, there's some. Sometimes you want a particular business to solve a, a niche problem of ours, and we can't find it in siblings. Mm-hmm. If you just have a favorite section, that's only what you know. Yeah, okay. But leaving the directory as it is, it allows you to broaden your perspective. You know, see what else is available. Okay. And we frequently update the the directory okay. in the background. You don't, you don't even know that it's updated. Okay. Okay. But that's an interesting thing um, because when we thought of favorites, mm-hmm. we thought of, you know, okay, this is what we find, this is what we mm-hmm. But you're saying that it's more of a the joy of discovery mm-hmm. kind of thing. Yeah, it, it's a directory and I mean, I, I want to talk to the business owners because a lot of people misunderstand what we mean by directory. Mm-hmm. It's not just to get your business that you want advertised out there. It's about getting everything within the directory. So if even you know those popular businesses, we may know them, but sometimes we forget the number, we forget the address, we forget when they open. So the directory is not just for what you want to advertise at one point in time, but having everything living in the directory. And it's free as well. It's free. Point on why it's shot, you your shot. When you, when you think of a blog, a blog is supposed to be shot. So what we started, techno blog yeah. and was, okay, we're going to be just giving you five minutes of content. We never, never meet that minutes. goal. <laughs> it's always over five minutes. Yeah. But we try to give short takes on this whole technology thing. Okay. So that's why it was a bit, a bit short. But, you know, we try to keep it tight, watch the time of people. Okay, well, so that's why. I guess this would be a good time to summarize <laughs> because uh, link up is going to take a lot more time uh-huh. but luckily we have our website www.linkupsvg.com That will be somewhere down there Yeah, in the description <laughs> uh, On that website, small business owners could register their business for free There's no monthly charge or subscription to be on the app and that's us giving back in exchange for that, we're just asking that you share the word about LinkUp so that we reach more people and your business in reaching them will be exposed as well. Um, yeah, www.linkupsvg.com We are also on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter where you could follow us to see what businesses you could find on the app as well. Okay. Question I would like to ask my dear sister here. Where do you see LinkUp going? I see it taking off and becoming the number one application where you can find everything you need. Okay. So, I'm going to ask. <laughs> on that note, um, we're just going to list what LinkUp has and what we're going to introduce in the, the next coming months. Okay. Right now, you can get your directory. Under the directory, you find skilled people, small businesses, you get your turn by turn directions, the opening hours everything like that you can click to call or email and view their social media accounts within the directory there's a deal section where you get discounts from the person that are on the app and all you have to do is claim the discount coupon you go in stores you redeem discount sponsored by linkup <laughs> there's the menu that allows you to see what different restaurants and food outlets have even before you go there wasting your lunch hour you see what they have the ingredients the price there's the events section. That's we're gonna list um, sporting events because not a lot of people promote sports in Sydney. Mm-hmm. So we're gonna have the sporting events listed, the parties, the exhibitions, all within one place. 
where you could also get turn by turn directions, you could see the poster, information, price. Coming soon, you would be able to purchase tickets for these events within Link Up. Right? Under right. the menu section, you would be able to order food from most of the restaurants that are going to be on the app as well. Let's have real order this time. <laughs> a real order. A real order. Not no, you're not going to be Show me a picture, <laughs> then call up. That's not. No, 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 no. You're not going to be a clicking to order. call. You're going to be clicking to order. You know? I would like to see a real order system where you could actually go see what's on the menu today pick your food that is already here yeah. and, and put it right here. yeah i mean we have the building blocks already mm -hmm. right now you could go in the menu section you see what's there you see the picture the ingredients the price if you for example take that meal you could then go back and leave a review or a comment under that burger mm -hmm. so that other persons will know well this is the best burger rated mm -hmm. by these people okay. But we're gonna have a real audience system. <laughs> yeah, wonderful. One thing I want to highlight okay. about the director mm -hmm. is the ability if your location is on, it can mm -hmm. be shuffled to show who you're closest to. Okay. So if you're hungry, maybe you're in an emergency, mm -hmm. you need to find the closest restaurant, maybe the closest police station, the closest the mechanic shop. Right, the mechanic shop. It reshuffles, it reshuffles a part of your, your location. So you can see who's closest to you. Okay, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Any any plans or thoughts with the link of by putting in an AI? Uh, in an AI input? An AI uh, to be more predictive. Yeah. Be more well, predictive and um because you know that you mentioned uh, awareness of location. Um having an AI might help with that as well. Especially if you're, if you're looking for food. Mm -hmm. Link and then, up. And then you can have a restaurant. Right. <laughs> and then you can based on your preferences, suggest, right. make suggestions. Well, it would also help with the story too. Because right. if you, if Link Up knows, you know, you like burgers, it's about that lunch hour, and you're near. Well, I, I guess we missed a point there. Um, Concerning the menu, mm -hmm. we'll be doing push notifications so oh, that okay, at okay. say 11.30 before lunch, mm -hmm. we send a push notification for you to check what's on the menu mm -hmm. and some restaurants and food outlets will be updating the menu okay, okay. So we send that notification for you to check it probably dinner time mm -hmm. when there's an event, we do push notifications oh, as well. But on the note of an AI, mm -hmm. link up is really about linking up people. Mm -hmm. You meet new people, you form collaborations. So maybe we could meet with a, you know, a proper developer. Give us guidance and implement in that area. I could form a front end developer. Another full stack as well. Okay, okay. Cool. All right, cool. All right well, we could talk. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask, what do you, what do you use for buildings? What technology do you use? Is it Asian versus JavaScript? Wow. Um, well, I, I build websites with those, but for an app, um, most apps, they, they are either native, where you use Android Studio or C for um, iPhones, but we've decided to go for an all-in-one um, solution where we had to pay yearly license. But if, you, if the average person go and find that um, solution, they wouldn't be able to achieve as much as we did with Linkup because a lot of coding as well went on in the background. So it's a lot of work and you know we hope people appreciate it, they download it, they share it and they use it as well. So what about the Vincent and Margin? Do you think that people appreciate it? We've been getting some very good feedback. Um, we did two lunch, um, a soft lunch on Extreme Radio. The feedback was very good. And we did a media lunch alongside NTRC. And that was, wow. The, the outpouring you know, we got from people coming up to us afterwards, wanting to link up then and there. It was very good. The response on social media is also increasing. So it, it is going to take off. Okay. It, it's no two ways about it. All right. So, um, my dear sister <laughs> <laughs> question for you um on your phone there is 
prime real estate. The screen, when they turn on the phone, most people have their Instagram, their Facebook, Snapchat. It's like you buy a phone just for these things. A lot of applications are fighting for time with their users. It is going to be your challenge to integrate in their lives. So do you think that this app will be able to nudge out some Facebook time, nudge out some Instagram time, and be able to be used by users regularly? Yes, I think so. Because one problem that I can see from Facebook for mm -hmm. businesses especially, mm -hmm. getting your content out there to the right people, it's a bit tedious because Facebook has, it's international. It's not only to St. Vincent. And link up, what we've created is an app which is local to St. Vincent. So you know you're finding relevant content. You're not going to be in St. Vincent looking for a restaurant and you're finding one in Jamaica or Trinidad, St. Lucia, even America. Um, I think we have a way to go, but we get getting there. And, and to your point, to strengthen your point, actually, um, when Facebook just came out and the business component of it launched, the people like your pages and so on, when you post something, most of your followers see it. But now it's such a competition to get the word out, it's hard. So having a centralized hub that you don't necessarily have to compete with everybody else right. for space is for advertising as well. Exactly. If you don't spend some money on boost your post, mm -hmm. you get one like, two like, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And nobody else sees it. And yeah. So we see this really new for it in the market. Um, when, we, when we reviewed it, it was, it, we loved it. We loved it. Yeah. Um, I don't think that you guys have potential for going going places. Alright? Yeah. Yeah. We just want us to be happy. Get better and better. Alright. In the proof. <laughs> Alright. Okay guys, thanks for watching us. This is another episode of Techno Blog with me. We have Maurice John and our two guests. Ken George. And Anthony George. All right, and they're from Link Up. Link Up. All right. <laughs> so make sure you check out their app. Somewhere we have a link somewhere. Some there. Just, some link some. <laughs> yeah. Some link over there. All right. So thanks again. All right. See you again next time. All right. All right.